I quote John 3:27 No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven This makes music a gift from God Human beings have tried to explore this beautiful gift of God and have not seemed to get enough of it It has been described as a language that speaks to one's soul a subtle way of expressing a feeling that goes beyond the spoken word being a gift it could be used by us in any way we choose just as our life is a gift to be lived in the manner we choose but with the freedom comes judgment which determines our destiny having a taste of this gift that moves people and influences their lives I realized that God has a purpose for giving it to us to let our love flow. Hence, music can be described as a powerful media for communication since it can touch the sensitive areas in us. 1 John 4:16 tells us that God is love and his greatest commandment is to love. Therefore, anything done against love is a sin in god's eyes any musician having the welfare of music lovers in their mind would not promote sex satanism drugs and violence instead they would help idolizing youngsters to build up a character strong values and productive lives I would like to quote some of the statements made by musicians of our times. Jim Morrison of the group Doors in 1967 who died due to an overdose of drugs revealed his attitude. He said, "I am interested in anything that is about revolt, disorder, chaos, especially activity that has no meaning Freddie Mercury of Queen said that he was very emotional and may go mad in a few years and he ultimately died of AIDS Robert Hunter of Grateful Dead said destroy yourself physically and mentally and insist that all true brothers do likewise as an expression of humility Ozzy Osbourne said I am something of a madman. I can do nothing in moderation. If it's booze, I drink the place dry. If it's drugs, I take everything and then scrap the carpet for little crumbs. I took LSD every day for years. I was spending about thousand dollars a week on drugs. John Lennon of the Beatles said, "Christianity will go away." it will vanish and shrink i don't need to argue about it i'm right right and will be proved right we are more popular than jesus christ now i don't know which will go first rock and roll or christianity please note that the beatles discovered india and maharishi mahesh yogi he discipled them they got into drugs especially psychedelic drugs like lsd besides the beatles are no more but christianity still exists hallelujah now i am not condemning these groups but just pointing out the serious errors many have made 2 corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 and 5 says in their case the god of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ who is the image of God for we do not proclaim ourselves we proclaim Jesus Christ as lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus Christ and these rock stars have millions of youthful fans hanging on every word they sing and just everything they do now i have nothing against rock music 
checking my own heartbeat set me thinking this rhythm of life which keeps us going sounds like a slow rock beat when this beat stops we are not seen around anymore right through my days of music starting off by singing in simple school competitions i got opportunities to sing for groups and be in touch with the popular songs of the 60s 70s 80s and 90s i was also proud to be associated with a famed and talented rock and pop group called 1380 as their lead vocalist 1380 was popular all over india we were inspired to write our own songs which saw the release of two of our albums this got us traveling around the country with promising offers from abroad and also visits to the middle east 1380 also sang songs for the film world we came across people talking to us about the marked presence of occult in the music we performed I also began to hear about backward masking a phenomena which revealed the presence of hidden messages being transported through certain songs into the subconscious mind of an individual unguarded in the truth and exposed to it though i was singing and exposed to music categorized as music of the occult i never recognized the danger in these things until i experienced freedom in jesus and knew how it had bound me with jesus came the enlightenment now nightmares were a common experience for me the feelings of hands on my neck hearing and seeing horrible things brought fear into my soul even though i used to pray from a very young age sin and perversion of the mind an unhealthy outlook wrong reasoning selfishness unforgiveness self pity etc were what i was built up of when jesus became a reality for me the darkness and uncertainty of my mind vanished i used to sing a song of the group simon and garfunkel a song which is so popular called the sound of silence in this song the words go like this hello darkness my old friend i come to talk to you once again 1 john 1:5 says god is light and in him there is no darkness at all in other words there is no true freedom where there is darkness The truth is Christ alone can penetrate the darkness even though we are slaves of sin we pretend we are free on a clear cut message from the lord to leave this music and enjoy his peace i began my search which led me into an eternity of bliss with him there was an ad and a bc in my life a contrast between my past and present experiences and interests they were totally opposite to each other the divider being my conversion on questioning and praying and searching i started getting the answers to questions in my inner being it was very clear that the opposite forces to god's goodness were launched by satan's thirst to be worshiped by mankind and hence lead us away from being children of god the words of jesus in matthew 22:29 reveals that we go wrong because we do not have his word directing our lives and we do not understand the power of his word standing on the words of jesus we can discern satan's work in this world driving man to use god's gifts against god in the gospel of john in chapter 8 verse 31 and 32 jesus said to the jews who had believed in him if you continue in my word you are truly my disciples 
and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free having understood the basic teachings of truth it was easy to see that musicians with talent were sitting ducks for satan to establish his kingdom especially among the youth Jesus in the gospel of John in chapter 17 verse 15 and 16 says as he is praying to the father in heaven i am not asking you to take them out of the world but i ask you to protect them from the evil one they do not belong to the world just as i do not belong to the world let's then sing this now 